Welcome guys. Today we will be doing part one of Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lines. Okay, so first I'm going to read this little poem or story. Sword in hand, a warrior clutches stone to breast. And sword etched, he his fading memories. In stone, his tempered skill. By sword attested, by stone revealed. Their tale can now be told. Square Enix presents The Zodiac Break Story. Okay, so let's start a new game. First off, I want to say thank you to everyone who is going to watch and follow this tutorial and walkthrough. Uh, this is by far one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. It is also one of Scarecrow 313's favorite Final Fantasy games. So, this is a honor to be doing for everybody. So, let's start out. Okay, I am Erislam, student of Ivalis' middle age. You are familiar with with the War of the Lines, no? Some may be, some may not be. We are going to find out what it is about. It was a bitter war of succession that rent the land of Ivalis in two. Here we first find mention of Delita Hero, a hitherto unknown young man, the hero who would draw the curtain on this dark act of our history. He is a heroism of great renown, a story familiar to all who dwell within our land. Ah, but the Isis is oftentimes a mere fragment of the truth. There was another young man, the youngest of the House of Beelove, long famed for producing leaders of knights and men. There is no official record of the role he played in history's stage. However, according to the Durai papers, the existence of which became known to the public only this last year, they had long lain concealed in the church archives. This forgotten young man is in fact the true hero. The church maintains he was a heretic, an insider of unrest and disturb, disturber of the peace. Which account is to be believed? Well, that is for us to find out. <coughs> Join me in my search to uncover the answer. Ah, but before we begin, might I ask you to share with me your name and date of your birth? Okay, the original character's name is Ramza Bailov, but I am going to change it and bear with me because this control pad is a little shaky. I was wanting to use my PS4 controller, but the Bluetooth connector, it was connecting, but it was not allowing me to do anything with it. And I tried three different controllers, and one of them was definitely a new controller, so uh, that wasn't it. And I do not have the means of routing my controller just yet, so I have to use the crappy touchscreen on the phone. Uh, yeah. Okay, so here is a... A, a small part of the game this is your zodiac as you can see mine is 14 Libra and if you know anything about the zodiac signs if you draw a circle uh, if you draw tr okay if you draw them in a circle 
they all have different parts uh, 12 different parts representing the 12 months in the calendar year uh, also in this game there is a compatibility and incompatibility between the zodiac signs so like I said if you drew them in a circle and divided them up their 12 equal parts and you took and drew a triangle from your zodiac or something like that anything it touched is is compatible or incompatible or something like that I'm not really sure on the mechanics but you can look them up on game facts or on the internet I may give you a little bit more information about it after I look it up myself so there technically is probably a best zodiac to start your birth with but we're not going to mess with that I'm going to actually use my birth so here we go okay Square Enix presents a nice cutscene So I've actually got my frame skip on, so it may not be as great as it should be, but I'm doing that for the audio. <coughs> the Zodiac Brave Story. Final Fantasy Tactics So this was not in the original PlayStation version. That is why I'm doing this. Running through the woods on my chocobo. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I cannot sing. So, as we see, they are running. But why? And where to? And where from? We may just find out. Like I said before, this is one of my favorite Final Fantasies and also one of Scarecrow 313's favorite. And I'm actually, do not quote me on this, but I think he said it was his favorite. Which it is unlike any other Final Fantasy in the series besides the Game Boy Advance versions of like Advanced Tactics and Advanced Tactics 2. But those are all strategic kind of chessboard games. Okay, Lady of Velia, it is time. I'll not be much longer, Agrius. Your escort has already arrived, Majesty. Please heed the good lady's words, Highness. You must hurry. (laughs) 
Still in here, are you? It's been the better part of an hour. Gafgarion, you forget yourself, sir. You are in the presence of the princess. Mayhap bowheads would less offend. You would do well to waste less time on idle pleasantries. I see even the noble order of the northern sky cannot rid itself of vulgar knaves. A guard captain in these rains, sodden hidden lands ought not expect chivalry. We are employee of the order, not of it. Your pay does not cover trite court seas to the likes of you. Govern your tongue. Enough. Let us be on our way. The father watch over you, child. And you, elder. Oh. Oh. My lady, the enemy is upon us. Do Galtana's men. We are paid for this. Time to earn our keep. What is it, Dreads? You above getting paid to do a job? I'm a knight no longer, just another sellsword. Right then, to battle! Deliver us, O oh Lord! Okay. So, we are doing our first battle. Yeah, yeah, first battle. Okay. They bear the crest of the Black Lion. Dugaltana must be mad. Does he mean to start a war? You there, witch. You cannot hope to defeat us. You will surrender the princess. If not, well, I would hate to see anything happen to that pretty face of yours. A head on assault. The swords of Galtana, Lackwitz, one and all. In that case, we should be able to handle this without you, Gafgarian. Mayhap you could, but there's no money to be made in that. Lad, treats with me. Okay, so right off the bat, we can tell Argrius and uh, Gafgarian do not like each other very well. So, let's see what's going on. Kill them all. Leave no man standing. You would have us slaughter them. Are you mad? Kill them here and you'll have played into Duke Galtana's hands. We'll, we need only put them to rout. I find dead men rout more easily. <coughs> Say, so Gafgarian uses his Dark Knight ability, Shadow Blade, which is a very good ability. Okay, and now our first turn, I'm going to move right here, yes, and I am going to use a squire ability in the middle called Focus, which raises your strength by one in battle, and these names are different from the PlayStation version but we can always push select to see what it does. Okay, and now we are going to leave him facing this direction. Now, Argrius is a holy knight, and she has awesome abilities as well. And they just killed the archer. Poor archer didn't even get to shoot his arrow. Okay, and then these two knight chicks move. Okay, so, 
as you can see there are many different job classes already on the screen there are squires knights holy knight dark knight archers and a chemist okay your basic two starting classes are chemist and squire and by leveling those jobs up by gaining JP, which is experience gained from performing actions. You gain level experience and job points, which is to unlock job abilities in each job class. And also the way to unlock new job classes. So there are actually five job class tiers in this game that I, well, I break it down in five tiers. There are four classes in each tier, and I do not count the squire or the chemist as a tier. I count them as basics. So, any of the classes I refer to in a tier is an upgraded class from a squire or a chemist and there's different ways to unlock these different classes and I will talk more about that later so they've actually killed everybody on my side of the map pretty much so I'm pretty sure that's an enemy yes so we're gonna move right here and we're gonna attack him we are going to attack them okay now on this game when attacking, the best place to be is behind. Sometimes behind and a little bit higher up. Okay, now in the top right of the screen, you can see the 11H. That means my height on the map grid is 11. Okay, now attacking from the sides is better than attacking from the front, but you honestly want to attack from the back, especially against Nox, because that is your highest... Any any class that has high agility or high defense, you want to get from behind so they do not counter or dodge or, you know, block the attack or, you know, your attack miss in any way. So, but we couldn't get behind him, so I'm going to see... See, 78% chance of striking and it did not work. So, go ahead and skip my turn anyway. So, yes. Uh, different classes have different abilities, of course, and we will be unlocking all of them. Now, some of them are hard to unlock, but we are going to do it. And I will do most of it off screen by grinding through battles I'm going to mostly just be recording the main story of the game and level up off camera but I will do some battles of leveling up on camera just to show off the different enemies or different skills so with that being said we're going to get through this first battle and what we know is Galtana is after the princess and we are with a band of people who are trying to protect the princess and that's pretty much all we know right now I mean that's it so we're still waiting for all these battles okay my turn again so I'm going to come to this archer and attack him because he is less defended so he is less likely to see a hundred percent instead of trying to attack a knight and not hitting him we're going to get this hit in so we get our JP and our EXP because if you miss you do not get those and that is that's pretty terrible because you need it we gotta level up gotta get strong okay so this battle is pretty close to being over and there it is that's it that's the first battle so easy a lot of stuff would have to go wrong for you to lose and I am going to shut up and let you watch this <laughs> 
princess. This way. Be quick. And try making a little less noise. I'll not take orders from you. You've quite a mouth on you, princess. <gasps> Forgive me. Tis your birth and faith that wrong you, not I. Hold there! Damn! Is it truly him? Hmm. So that was the leader, as you will find out. Here, just a second. I cannot be. Delita, he lives. But why does he fight under the banner of Duke Cortana? So. Delita is actually Ramza, or in this case, Dreed's childhood friend. Unlike Ramza or Dreed's, Delita was poor. Records of the hero Delita appear one year before the outbreak of the War of the Lions. The loss of the 50 Years War saw knights returning from the front stripped of livelihood. Their fealty to the crown and nobility abandoned. Many became rogues and traitors, men donning the thief's cloak and plotting treason against the crown. It was a time of great earnest for Ivalice. Murder and theft were commonplace. Many were the young adventurer and mage who stepped forward to counter this threat. Of such, the city of Garland too saw its share. Chapter 1, The Meager. Okay, so. This is the Royal Military Academy at Garland. Anyway, like I was saying before, all the text on the screen popped up was that Delita, unlike Ramza, was born poor and just so happened to be brought in by the king, which is, or maybe not the king, sorry for saying that, because I don't think it might not be actually the king, but Ramses' father. And they grew up like brothers and were best friends. Okay, so I am actually going to stop this video right here, and we will continue here in a few. I am going to stop this and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will be back with another video. Until next time.